And back at the GLBC's quarterfinal round, the matchup between Truman State and Quincy. It's been a good one. And Tammy uh, Falkaday joins us from the University of Wisconsin Parkside. Welcome. Thank you. It's been a great day. Well, we were visiting a little bit uh, last night at the GLBC sponsored uh, pre tournament events about some of the jobs you have at Parkside. But let's talk about your basketball programs first of all. Your women, maybe a little disappointed. They went across the uh, conference to Rockhurst and dropped the game there. Let's start with them. What kind of year did they have? Yeah, absolutely. Our, our ladies had a great year, and, and clearly the bar is set high for us. Our women's program has been so strong for the last six, seven years, and for us not to be in the conference tournament or looking at regional play, we're disappointed in that, but, you know, they had a great season. They played hard, and at the end, we had some illness and some injuries, and that doesn't take much to derail us, and they'll regroup, and we'll be back here next year. Well, you know what? That's kind of the story for everybody, isn't it? If you get injured at the wrong time, you're kind of out of luck. Absolutely. And so I, I do believe you when you say you'll regroup and come back. How about your men, though? They're a, f a factor to be reckoned with here is uh, they're one of the top teams in the uh, men's play, which starts tomorrow in the quarters. Yeah, you know, our, the men's side, our, our program has had a phenomenal year. They've had a phenomenal four-year run. Uh, things, but you know, this is a great basketball conference as a whole. And on any given night, you better bring your A game, or uh, someone's going to take you down. And so, I'm really looking forward to the games tomorrow. And uh, I hope our guys are healthy and ready to go. Being relatively new to the conference, I, I believe this, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but Parkside had had not had the kind of success they've had over the last four years, but Luke Regal has done a tremendous job building a program that now has won or shared the Eastern Division title for four consecutive years. Yeah, what a phenomenal turnaround. Uh, you know, he's, he's just built the program right. He's done it well, and it's been a slow progression, and now he's got it there. And as you know, the key is once you get there to keep it there Absolutely. and the stability. And, He's found the right uh, connection in what he's doing now, and uh, our guys are doing a great job. Before we talk about some of their players, and you have the player of the year on the men's side, what about uh, Luke working with his, his dad, Tom? I think that's a great story that Tom's his assistant coach. That's an awesome story, and the two of them, if you, you, know, you want to have some fun, go watch them on the practice floor. And, <laughs> I could imagine. Uh, you know, his dad is still uh, an amazing uh, student of the game and teacher down on that practice floor and a great asset to have uh, him on Luke's bench and the two of them together. You're right. What, what a special time for the two of them to have yeah. this winning and, and where it's at. And, yeah, we're very fortunate to have Tom Regal on the bench. Luke is your coach of the year in the GLBC on the men's side, but Andy Mazurchek with the player of the year. You were telling me last night that Andy's just a, a great player, obviously, and, boy, he can be fiery on the court and, and hard-nosed on the court, but off the court, kind of a different story. He is. Andy's just an, an awesome young man, and uh, he does well in the classroom. He's a great team leader and always has been. And, you know, this has been his year to, to shine. And, you know, the, the great thing I like about Andy is he knows his role on the team. When he's delivering the ball when he needs to and when he needs to put the team on his back, he knows when to do that. And, you know, I'm just so happy and, uh, for him to have th this recognition from the conference office of what he's done in his career at Parkside. I'm going to look dumb here. It's not hard for me to do, but when do the men play tomorrow? Uh, we play the late game again at 830. Okay. <laughs> what, else, what else is going on at Parkside? Real quick, we only have about, about a minute. Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, we have our wrestlers that are heading to Super Regionals, uh, or excuse me, to Nationals. We had okay. one at first place at Super Regionals last weekend, so two weeks we'll send uh, six wrestlers to Nationals. Uh, we have uh, one young lady heading off to indoor track and field Nationals in another week, and... Uh, well, certainly our men's basketball program will go another week into regional play. And we're trying to play some softball and baseball yeah, up there. Tough, but uh, we were looking good until about a few days ago when snow hit us again. Tammy, thank you so much for visiting. Tammy Falk Thanks, Day has Rick. been with us. And we'll be back with more in a moment from the GLVC Women's Basketball Championship. Brought to you by the GLVC Sports Network, where champions are crowned.